Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to ESO and our Dark Elf Arcanist playthrough. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. We are going to continue heading north today. We have a couple of things to discover, and then we're heading all the way up here to gather a musk gland for a quest that we took a long time ago, but I have been having fun exploring the area and uncovering all the side quests and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to do more of that today. Oh, you are, you are aggressive. We are getting right into things. Now, this is some kind of enemy encampment. I don't think we have to be here yet. But there's also... another point of interest over here. Some kind of passage. Maybe we will come back to this if we don't get any quest here. Let's try to head up the road here. We do seem to have another quest over this way. There's the Way Shrine. Wait, hold on. Head to Old Isra. Oh good, you stopped. No time for details. People eager to see me dead will come over that hill at any moment. So, want to earn some easy gold? What do I need to do for this easy gold? Helhulen, the tower at Old Isra's east end. Inside, there's a green mushroom. By that mushroom, there's a dark elf. She'll probably insult you. She's my contact. Deliver this letter, then walk away with a pocket full of gold. What's so important about this letter that people want to kill you? Better you don't know. But fine. There's a spy among the Assembly of Masters. My contact's here to end the threat. Look, can you take this letter to her? Don't open it, don't look at it, don't talk about it. Hand it over, and you're done. Deal? All right, I'll take the letter to your contact in Al Isra. Remember, a dark elf by a green mushroom in Telhulen. Tell her, both light and shadow can be deadly. She'll reply, though only one chases the other. Then hand over the letter and she'll give you gold. Now, go while I lead my pursuers away. So, who's chasing you? The people working for the spy. That's my assumption, at least. When a dagger flew past my head, I took off. Look, you don't want to know any more about this. You don't need details to deliver a letter, and the more you know, the greater the danger. Oh, I need details. Tell me about Al Isra. It's just another Telvani town. Its claim to fame is that the Assembly of Masters congregates there. Look, I'm from the other side of Morrowind. I just had orders to meet my contact here and deliver that letter. Want to know more? Ask a local. What should I know about the Assembly of Masters? You don't have time for this. Look, the name is misleading. Telvani masters never assemble. Instead, they send their assistants, the mouths, to represent them. So it's really the assembly of mouths. But no one wants to call it that. Can I go now? Yes, you can. All right, so it looks like we're heading this way.
Any delay is unacceptable. We hired the Morag Tong to deal with this problem. Bellow all you want. It won't change my process. Outrageous! I was hoping we'd run into Nereu. Master Phobes, a word, if I may. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I we ran into Nereu in our Templar playthrough. And I often talked about how she was one of my favorite characters that I've met in a video game. So I'm really happy to see her again here. That is awesome. So cool. I know the effect I have on people. I either scare them or attract them. And they can't take their eyes off me. But few ever dare approach me, let alone try to strike up a conversation. So, what do you want to say to me, hero? Both light and shadow can be deadly. Though only one chases the other. All right, it's obvious Fulci sent you, and she gave you the code of a courier. That tells me you have something for me. Go on, then. Hand it over. A Fulci gave me this letter. Said you'd pay well to get it. She was being followed and led them away. Fulci can fend for herself. Right now, I need to see if she learned anything to point me to the true identity of my target. To Desim, the name on the writ is an alias. Interesting. According to Fossi, House Drez established a camp to the south. Is that important? Fossi seems to think so. Since you want to get paid, how about you help me out? I need to assassinate a spy and tell Hulan. But to do that, I need to figure out who actually deserves my blade. It's quite legal. I have a Morag Tong writ of execution. Oh, we, we know all about that, but I'll go ahead and ask anyway. What's a writ of execution? A binding document that gives me the authority to eliminate the name on the writ. We figure out who Tridesim actually is, I finish the job, you get paid, and we go home. Not together, necessarily. <laughs> Depends on my mood. So, what do you say? I'll help you figure out who Tridesim is. Congratulations, you're my new Fosse. First, go to the servants' quarters to the west and ask Akigo about the spy. Then visit the Drez camp to the south and see if they have any connection to this Tredesim. I need to keep watch here, just in case. Care to tell me about yourself? You think we've reached that point in our relationship where I smile, wink, and divulge all my deepest, darkest secrets? Hero, you couldn't handle that sort of revelation. Just do the job, get paid, and you never have to see me again. Fine. I belong to the finest League of Assassins in Tamriel. In Morrowind, we're part of the legal establishment. Instead of going to war, the leaders of the Great Houses employ us to settle scores and keep the peace. How do Assassins help keep the peace? By eliminating anyone who threatens the stability of the system. The Great Houses of the Dark Elves exist in a precarious balance. Without us, violence between them would spill into the open, rather than staying behind closed doors and false smiles. Anything else I should know to help you determine Trindesim's true identity? You mean other than the fact that I have a writ for someone named Trindesim who apparently doesn't exist? That House Drez has a nearby camp? Or that I want you to question a servant named Akigo? Which of those would you like me to spell out for you? Why do you want me to talk to Akigo? Akigo is a contact I cultivated the last time business brought me out this way. For a minor servant, he excels at avoiding notice and absorbing everything that happens in town. He'll only help if it's safe. He knows what the Talvani do to traitors. And where did you get the name Trendesim? It was part of the writ, provided by whichever scribe the masters had contact the Morag Tong. But since no one here knows anyone with that name, it must be an alias. Believe me, when I figure out who took out the writ, I plan to ask them about that. Why is the house dress camp important? Because Fosi thought me knowing about it was important enough to involve you. House Drez controls the land far to the south, near the Black Marsh border. Them setting up a camp near here could be coincidence, but it's worth checking out. All right, I've asked enough questions for now. Are you sure? Don't want to ask about my favorite beverage, how I look so good without any effort, or which <laughs> scrib I favor in tonight's race? God, then let's get to work, hero. We have a spy to identify. No, Sulis. I'm out of patience. We need this finished now. Master Foves, calm yourself. This solves nothing. 
Come, Geeter. Nothing to say to you, friend of the Dark Lady. Word travels fast in old Isra, outsider. I heard you work with the Dark Lady. Last time she came through, I had to clean up three bodies. If she sent you to ask for my help again, the answer is, politely, no. I do not want her to be angry with me. She wants to know what you may have heard about a spy in Telhulin. Just information? No risk to scale or tail? Very well. I don't know about a spy, but a servant leaves the quarters late every Sundas and Midas night, then returns early the next morning. No idea who, but there's always a strange smell the next day. Can I look around the servant's quarters? What? No. It's locked for a reason. We servants don't have that much. I won't let a stranger in to go through our meager belongings. Nope, this key stays mm, right here. I don't with have me. the intimidate skill because we haven't been to I think it's the Fighters Guild. Yeah, we gotta go to the Fighters Guild. Oh, I didn't expect you to be reasonable. That's refreshing. I can't give you the key to our quarters. My masters beat me enough as it is. But I happen to know that Garnts leaves his key on a table in the courtyard when he's working. Nice. Now go away. I'd like to take a look at the scraps, but we don't seem to be able to do that. Did you see that woman outside? If looks could kill, she wouldn't need those knives. Shh, she asked about her. Was that you rummaging around upstairs? If you're a new servant, then I hope you learn to respect other people's belongings. Also, and I'll try to say this gently, your smell is quite pungent. <laughs> Heard any good gossip recently? Well, last week, the head steward assigned me to Master Sulis's quarters. He's friendly in public, but exceedingly mean behind closed doors. I heard him talking with Master's foes and Filsi about a secret project, but I didn't get any details. Ever heard a servant leave at night? I have, and I wish they'd do it quietly. I won't tell the head steward, but they could repay my discretion by not disturbing my sleep. And no, I don't know who it is. Staying ignorant means I don't need to lie when someone asks. Fair. What about a strange smell? Yes, and it's right in front of me. <laughs> have you been wrestling in the swine pond? Probably with the servant that sneaks out late at night, I imagine. Please take that smell and leave. We've been trying to air out this place for weeks. Hey, hero. Find anything pertinent to my writ? Oh, hey. No 
notice how the servants around here love me? They know I'm here for bigger scribs than them. Well, come to think of it, I have had a writ or two for servants over the years. Three, actually. Hmm. Anyway, find anything useful in there? I found this jar in the servants' quarters. You brought me a jar? Ugh, it reeks like Asha's undergarments. Hmm. Why in the world would a servant need a jar of Kaguti musk? I can't think of a single useful purpose other than to stink up the place. Did Akigo have any useful information? He said that a servant leaves every Sundays and Midas night. The quarters smell awful the next day. Well, I'd say you'd found the source of the smell. But why go out on specific nights just to return with a jar of stink? Could it be some sort of weird romantic rendezvous? That's no courting ritual that I'm familiar with. Anything else? Master Stulis, Foves, and Thilse are working on a secret project. Is this from the scrap that we would have picked up? I wonder how I could have read that. We still need to investigate the dress camp. Well, better get to it. I need to get back to Chalhulin and see if I can spot anything out of the ordinary going on with the mouths or masters. See you soon, hero. Alright, we'll go search the settlement. Yeah, see, that's going to be down here. I knew there would be a reason for this. One of you guys asked in a comment if there was a way to move the character to the center of the camera instead of having them off to the left or the right. And I don't know. But I would be interested in taking a look and actually finding out. Uh, where do we think that would be? Probably not under graphics. Gameplay. We can hide different things. Camera. Field of view changes. Assassination camera. Screen shake. Could probably turn that off. Rotation speed, field of view. Horizontal position. Horizontal offset. Oh. We might be able to do that. Let, let's see. Horizontal offset. Look at that. So, yeah. If you move the horizontal offset. All the way to the left. That does it. I, I actually don't mind that. Um, what I wish I could do. I wish I could get rid of the reticle. Except for when we're in combat. And I wonder if there's any way to do that. Doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, you'd think it would be, a, if there was a way to do it, it would probably be under interface. A lot of games have it where where you can turn that aiming reticle on or off. See, I, I kind of like the camera right behind us like this. But I, I don't like the reticle where it's at, really. But this is more of like the angle that I'm used to. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be a way to do it, unfortunately. 
So I am going to have to slide us back over here to about right there. We have the usual number of rule breakers and layabouts for a camp of this size. Haver sneaks food to the slaves after dinner. Dedeen sleeps during her guard shifts. Brano smuggles contraband through some of the hired laborers. Inform me of any judgments and punishments you deem appropriate. I will see them carried out. Counselor Rauds, our operation at Ald Isra continues undiscovered. The source of information we establish within the Assembly of Masters provides regular updates and passes along private documents. Their value cannot be understated. It is gold well spent. You requested details about our process for security exchanging information late every Sundays and Midas evening. Tredison hides a new cache of information among the northern nest of local Kagauti. Then we collect the missives from the nest each Morundus and Tuesday, Tuesday morning. One would think that a direct aide to the Talvani master would choose a less odorous place to conduct business, but I cannot disagree with the results. We remain grateful that Tedressen is so willing to provide us information, whether from arrogance or greed, their loose lips have become a wellspring. The seasons of effort required to acquire an aide of this stature have paid off. The current phase of our operation should conclude soon, but we will maintain this flow of secrets for future use. I wish there was a way to turn the text into something that's a little bit more plain. Uh, my eyes and brain sometimes have trouble reading the, the uh, slanted cursive or like the special text. And I wonder if there's an add-on or something that could be installed that I could change that. Some games have like an option uh, to do it in the game, but I, I haven't noticed one yet. Noble Savali, I humbly ask your understanding for sending this letter of request directly to you instead of through our chain of command. We have a request of some urgency that doesn't have time to flow through the typical administrative channels. As you're aware, I'm engaging in a long-term operation to exact information from the leadership of House Telvani. Our agent inside, referred to as Tredesim, passed us the following note during their recent information drop. I don't know how, but the Masters learned that they have a spy in their ranks. One of them, I suspect Master Celis, enacted a writ of execution from the Morak Tong. I knew this work came with a risk, but I believed I'd stay protected. Now there's a good chance I wind up with a knife in my gut. Since the risk has grown, I want to take some urgent steps. I'd like you to transfer another round of my seasonal pay to Master Celis' accounts at the Bank of Necrom. This should temporarily alleviate my growing fear of this hired assassin. If you hesitate at complying with this request, consider it lean 
a future, consider it in lean of future information. Going forward, I want to start using codes when I refer to my targets. That way, if I'm caught, I have deniable plausibility. Please use the following names in the future. Sparrow for Master Celeste, Bristleback for Master Foes. Beetle for Master Thistle. Please let me know if I can expect the financial transfer into Sparrow's accounts. If not, we have no further need to engage in business. Our effort of infiltration has produced excellent results. It would be a shame to lose such an important source over a little extra gold. Please expedite the request transfer and send a reply once it's complete. Over here, hero. Got anything interesting for me? Felsi's report didn't do this place justice. This isn't a camp. It's a House Dres foothold in House Telvani territory. Any chance you found anything that will help us find the spy in there? This report refers to Tedrasim as a direct aid to the Master. Well, that narrows down the list of suspects. And it also tells us how they exchange information with their contact. They're using the Kuguti nests to the north as a pickup spot. Did you find anything else? This letter indicates Tradesim was worried. They want to shift blame to Master Celis. Add all this to that jar of Kuguti mask you found in the servants' quarters, and I think we're getting close to catching our spy. <laughs> using false names to identify the masters. Clever. And demonstrates a sense of humor. Should we warn Master Celis about the gold in his bank account? Not quite yet. This could just be another diversion. Let's not jump to too many conclusions just yet. What's next? So it appears that an aide or servant leaves messages for House Drez at the Kugudi Nest to the north, using the mask to keep from being attacked. First, go to Telhulan and update Master Sulis. Then we'll check on those nests. All right. The clues indicate that Tredesim is an aide to one of the masters, who also sleeps in the servant quarters. They use Kaguti Musk to approach the northern nests to exchange messages with House Drez. Update Master Sulis, then join me at the nests. Can we go over what we know so far? Not a bad time to review the evidence, though I strongly advise that you not mention any of this to the mouths and masters at Telhulun. What do we know like about Tredesim? The Drez call the spy Tredesim. They're a servant, but more than that, a personal aide to one of the Talvani masters. We also know that Tredesim passes information to the camp house Drez established outside Aldezra. And how does he do that? We deduce that Tredesim leaves their quarters late at night to drop information off at the northern Kaguti nests. They use musk to keep the beasts from attacking. I like the that they day, recap for Drez you. Agents <laughs> like, recover the information. Like if you're just going through and you, you're not really putting two and two together, I like that you can do like the little Sherlock Holmes recap here. Good, because we still have a lot to do. Head back to Telhulan and update Master Sulis. Placate him, but don't give him any more information than necessary. We're still not sure if he's involved. Then meet me at those Kaguti nests to the north.
Ah, you're assisting the Morag Tong agent, correct? As busy as I am, I can always spare a moment for the hired help. Nario asked me to give you an update to the investigation. We're close to identifying the spy. Oh, that is good to hear. Even though the Assembly enacted the writ, I know that Nario is under no obligation to keep us informed. I appreciate it. I know better than to ask for specific details. The Morag Tong prefers to work unhindered. Anything else? Could you tell me who attends the Assembly of Masters meetings? The Masters send representatives to the Assembly. Our mouths. They have the authority to speak in our names. Some sessions require a master or two to attend, as well as any aides and servants. Scribes take notes so every master can stay informed. I heard you were working on a special project. You did, did you? Interesting. Yes, I'm working on something with Masters Foes and Thilsey. We've been meeting frequently until fairly recently, then Foves stopped attending. He's worried about the spy. His aide delivers him notes after each meeting. Thank you for the explanation. A very informative update. Thank you. Now you should get back to it. We'll all feel safer and more secure once this spy has been dealt with. Permanently. Any guess as to the spy's identity? To a Telvanni master such as myself, everyone is a spy and a threat. It's something of our way of life. Hence the need for you and the Morag Tong assassin. A fresh set of eyes and a dagger to get the job done. I suggest you get back to it. Care to tell me anything else about your secret project? Not especially. <laughs> I suggest we change topics. Hyaling, I hope you have a strong sense of discretion. Talking to Master Sulis like that may not be wise. I have concerns about him. Have you and the assassin made progress? We are close to identifying the spy, but other than that, I can't say. I totally understand. What some call paranoia, I call prudent caution. This spy could cause irreparable damage to the assembly, if not to House Telvanni itself. Tell me. What did you and Master Sulis talk about just now? He explained the workings of the Assembly and how the Masters engage in special projects. Did he now? How easily he let slip confidential information to a stranger. I know others find me grating, but I've spent my life making House Telvanni stronger. This spy threatens our stability. I need you to find them. Eliminate this threat. Nario and I are working on that. I don't like this feeling of the wolves at the door. Your confidence encourages me. Thank you for talking with me. Now I must go. I swear my aide Gito is avoiding me. Just between us, he's let his grooming lapse. His odor is quite mm. unpleasant. You seem suspicious of Master Celis. I'm suspicious of everyone. Especially my peers and rivals. You have to be, in my position. Sulis, though. He's changed. I don't like it. Changed how? He has a new urgency about him. Always wants to talk about some new idea or another. For example, Sulis mentioned our secret project, yes? He insists that we meet in person. And with a spy and possible assassin roaming this tower? Ridiculous! Care to tell me anything about this secret project? What? No, of course not. What part <laughs> of the word secret are you unfamiliar with? No, I cannot discuss our project. Sula should never have mentioned it to begin with. You mentioned something about your aide. Hmm? Oh, Alamgito. Yes, he's been my loyal assistant for a number of years. Maybe I've been working him too hard. Seems like he has no time to keep up his appearance and the smell. Perhaps I should get him a room outside the servants' quarters. I mean, he's the one sneaking out at night. So yeah, I mean, this guy is right to be suspicious.
Oh, hey girl. Oh god, our inventory is full. <laughs> oh dear lord. Yeah, I mean, I, I to be fair, I haven't vendored a single time. I, I haven't vendored anything. Um, and I'm going to have to do that eventually here. Uh, let's see, is there anything like I should drop some junk? Which, you know, I hate to do. But I, I don't want to run out of room, so I'm going to destroy some of the, the white items that we have. Oh, hi. Alam, the time for secret names is over. His name is Alam. The Morag Tong will find you, if they haven't already. I just hope this message finds you first. As soon as you read this, come to our camp in the south. Do not hesitate. Don't make any arrangements. It's too late for anything other than running. You've performed a great service to House Dress and deserve to be rewarded. We'll escort you off the peninsula and back to Dress territory under our protection. 
You'll receive a new identity to keep you hidden. You will no longer be Alam Gatoit, but you will at least be alive. This is the assistant Gatoit. Interesting. Let's talk with this in fresh air. Uh, what about over here? How would I tell this to go into one hand or the other? I guess I could drag it over here. There we go. Tradesim, your information continues to pay dividends and our gratitude only grows. Your recent message about the Permeation sh Snare Project greatly excited our house mages. If House Tilvani were to wield such an incredible weapon, it would tip the balance of power too far in their favor. Your efforts ensure peace of in our land. As requested by Bristleback, we forwarded the gold into Sparrow's accounts. If anyone comes snooping around, this should hopefully provide enough suspicion to draw attention away from you. Please communicate to Bristleback that we appreciate all of his assistance. We look forward to a long and fruitful relationship. Alright. Oh, there is a Sky Shard over here. We should probably investigate that, but let's talk to Nariu first. Let's not keep her waiting. I smell like a kagoody. This place smells like a kagoody. And you definitely smell like a kagoody. Let me see that letter you found. Here, it indicates that Alam Gatoit is Tredesim. Master Foves' aid? Interesting. Once House Drez heard about the writ, they must have panicked. So now we go and confront Alam Gatoit? Not so fast, hero. Have we found everything here at the Kagudi Nests? There might be more clues scattered around this Drez message relay. I found this other letter. Ugh, oh, what's that on the letter? Are you sure that's just mud? Why don't you just read it to me from over there? Gatoit gave Dress details about a weapon called the Permeation Snare. Ah, probably that secret project the servant mentioned. Foes is part of the project, so as his trusted aide, Gito gains access to the details. May have even taken the notes himself. What else? Someone named Bristleback aided Gatoit and forwarded gold into someone named Sparrow's account. Bristleback. Sparrow, that letter, and the dress camp explained these code names. This means Master Foves worked with Gito this whole time. Mm -hmm. They even tried to frame Master mm -hmm. Sulis as the spy. Can't say I'm overly surprised. What's our next step? My next step is quite clear. I kill Gito. The writ covers Tradesim and just Tradesim. Anything you want to do beyond that is up to you, hero. Oh, cool. Let's return to Tel Hulan. Hopefully Gito is there so I can wrap this up. Meet me in Telhulin. We can finish this there. While we're over here, we should gather the musk gland. That would be a good idea. And it looks like there might be another side quest over here also.
Let's have a look at the side quest first so we get it into our quest log. Looks like we might be investigating some Drenmer ruins. Brigands! Scout! You! Yes, you must help me. Kamilzi, sacred site of the tribunal is under attack. The secret underground laboratory of Sothasil himself has been invaded. Overrun! Slow down, what's going on exactly? Kamilzi, where the magician himself studied among the dwarves, is under attack. The painted eye found Kamilzi despite all our secrecy. I left Nelthas Drathen to defend Sothasil's laboratory, since he's a clockwork apostle. Who are the painted eye? Mercenaries who steal magical items. Kamelzi holds dwarven technology and the magician's experiments. It's a banquet for their vile appetites. Please talk to Nilfas Drathen and remove the painted eye from Kamelzi. The tribunal will reward you. I'll see what I can do. You'll find the entrance to Kamelzi here. It may be difficult to spot. But the elevator should take you straight into the magician's laboratory. Nilfas Drathen will be there somewhere. Find him and rid the holy site of the painted eye. All right, we will get to that later on. I kind of want to wrap up our, our current questing first. We have a couple of waypoints not too far away from here. Let's grab this and then I want to follow up with Nerio before we tackle anything else. Welcome. You returned at just the right moment. I assume Tell me, assassin. Looks like we got Have to that letter before Gitto. He never received his orders to slip away and make a break for the dress camp. Nice. Makes my life easier. What happens now? Now I complete my writ. I figured you'd want to witness the professional at work. After all your help, you've earned that right. How does this work exactly? The rules are quite explicit. I can only terminate the person or persons listed on my writ, and this writ only covers tradism. We know there's Gitto, so he's my only target. A Talvani master may be guilty of scheming, but that's nothing new. Before you go, Falsi did promise me something for bringing you that letter. <laughs> she did, did she? I suppose you uh, did maybe go I should, off your maybe way I should to help have a woman up. with a writ. Here you go. Payment is promised. Can I, can I back out of this? Once I finish here, yeah. she did, did she? I probably should have uh, followed up on the red option. Master Phobes, it seems your aide has been speaking out of turn. No. Mercy, please. If you're certain, assassin, then do as you will. No! <laughs> You'll have to catch me first! Well, that got you far. Help is so difficult to come by. Pity you had to kill one of the good ones. It takes so long to find someone you can trust. So I'm not going to be able to take him out, too. I, I might have missed my opportunity. I I'm sad that's all we get to do with Nariu for now. I would really like to know, some of you guys can probably tell me, where else can I do quests for Nariu? 
Um, we did some questing on my Templar where we helped her and her apprentice whose brother had been killed in this big plot. So I've done that quest line. I'm wondering if there's anywhere else that I can meet her. With that, the writ is complete. I'm still curious why Guiteau decided to betray his master, but I suppose that doesn't really matter at this point. In a place like this, you don't always need a reason for betrayal. So what's next for you? Sharpening my blades. You never know how soon I'll need to draw them again. Then a trip to Necrom, I think. I should pay my respects at the necropolis while I'm in the area. I put a lot of ancestors in those catacombs. I wonder if we can find her somewhere again here. All right, we also hit level eight. <laughs> Some of you guys recommended that maybe I take a dual wield skill. And maybe I'll do that. Uh, deals a slice with both weapons to cause deep lacerations, dealing bleed damage. Alright. Or flurry. Which is probably exactly what it sounds like. Let, let's take the bleed damage. I'm gonna put this down here. I haven't been using the shields a lot, and it feels like more like a tanking ability anyway. So we'll do that, and we'll play around with dual wield a little bit and see how we like it. Uh, as far as... Our other point that we got from the Sky Shard. Uh, we can do Rune. That's the ward. We're not using that anymore, so I, I'm not going to bother morphing it. Ultimate abilities, Gibbering Shield. We could do the Unblinking Eye. Tear open the fabric of Arbus to summon a scion of Hermius Mora. This being cast for the beam that rends the Asunder Reality. Rends a Sunder Reality for 6 seconds. Okay. Or we can morph the Fate Carver. Which we use all the time. New effect. Gain a damage shield while channeling and immunity to interrupts. Consuming Crux also reduces the cost. Or applies a snare to damage enemies. Consuming Crux also increases the duration and snare strength. So we could slow them while we beam them or we could have an interrupting shield. Um, I kind of like slowing them while we beam them. So, we will do that. Alright. That should be good for now. Now, outside of here, I think, is a follow-up to our main questing, the plot that we started long ago. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have someone to talk to right here. Talk to Balver. But we also have the side quest up here. I think what we'll do is next time we will talk to Balver. We'll see where this leads us. But if it leads us back to town, we'll probably follow up with this before we continue any of the main story stuff. Looking at the map, I mean, I feel like we have made a lot of headway in this area. I'm not sure how much is left before they think about sending us elsewhere. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Where should I go after this? Uh, obviously the world is quite large. Lots and lots of places to go. I'd love to do some more questing with Nerio. She's by far my favorite character. Not that I've met like too many of the story characters in the world yet, but I really like her stories a lot. So let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in ESO again very soon. Bye for now.